the Coronation Stakes is next, and this is a Group 1 event over a mile for three year old fillies. And let's take a look at them. We've got some sunshine at last. Royal Ascot and the rain stopped, and Appenzell for Darren Thompson is at the top. Barantes, Delina, James Shea, Cool Sunset, Martellina, Melderbury Symphony, Dan Hughes, Escapist for Leon Van Rensburg, Great Point, David Hooley, Pugin Burst, Vinny Gerard, Santa Barbara, and Saratoga Slew for Paul Rhodes, Sartiglia Impression. For CDJ Liggett, Tuma Kaka Craig Owen, and Zamain Kicks for David Robertson. So, field of 12 then. And away they go. And the decent weather has come a little bit too late to save the ground. I think it might get a little bit better for day three, but it's not looking all that good for the rest of today, I don't think. And Barante Stellina is the leader down on this near side. Right over on the far side, Santa Barbara though, has now come through to take the lead. The Grey, uh, who's trying to get close there, is Elderberry Symphony down on this near side. The other Grey is Zamain Kicks, but it's Barantes Stellina who's got the lead. Barantes Stellina in front then, from Elderberry Symphony in second. Then up the centre of the track, Escapist in the blue with the gold cap. Right over on the far side is Santa Barbara, the one that's tracking that one is Pugin Burst. So expect some late speed coming from the centre of the track. The one that's struggling out the back at the moment is Saratoga Slew, but it's Barantes Stellina who continues to lead by two lengths as they come to the midway point then with Santa Barbara on the far side just showing second. Down on this near side the grey, uh, Elderbury Symphony is third. Zemain Kicks is also there. Escapist is with that one. Appenzel and Tuma Kaga are trying to get into it as well. Santa Barbara goes into overdrive the centre of the track but now down on this near side Barante Stellina is joined and passed by Elderbury Symphony and it's Elderbury Symphony who's gone on by half a length as they hit the two furlong pole. Elderbury Symphony is in the lead from Barante Stellina in second. Gap back to Escapist and Santa Barbara. The one that's finishing really well is Saratoga Slew was right out the back. Pugin Burst is now finally getting to go in but it's Elderbury Symphony in the lead as they hit the furlong pole. Elderbury Symphony being swamped then by Escapist and Zamain Kicks and Escapist in front but down on this near side Zamain Kicks is just in front. Zamain Kick Saratoga Slew finishing well, and Saratoga Slew's going to get up to take it. Saratoga Slew wins it. Zaman Kick Santa Barbara. Appenzel caught cool sunset from nowhere, was finishing like a train, and it's a win for Zaman Kicks. No, it's not. It's a win for Santa Saratoga Slew. Uh, talk about forgetting the winner. As quick as that, Zaman Kicks down this near side, but Saratoga Slew takes it for. Paul Rhodes, Zabane kicks for David Robertson was second. Santa Barbara, Paul Rhodes was third. Appenzel for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Tuma Kaka for Craig Allen was fifth.